Jason from Wake Makers here and today I wanted to just talk through some of the basics of the electrical side of ballast systems. So what it takes to actually connect pumps to the boat's electrical system to, to run for an automated uh, integrated ballast system. So um, we're going to focus on reversible pumps but this uh, same theory and logic applies for aerator pumps. The connection is just a little bit different but um, as far as the actual wiring connections and how that's done, it's going to be exactly the same. And then you can use our installation instructions that we provide uh, with, uh, with the aerator pump systems if that's the type of install that you're doing. Um, so first thing with, with, uh, with uh, boat electrical systems, they're 12-volt based systems. So, um, and because there's no metal really in a boat, we need to run all of our connections directly to the battery. So both the power and the ground connection in the system are going to be run back to the positive and negative terminals on the battery. And that's, that's really just the only way to do it. Um, and so that, that's kind of the layout of the, of, the, of the electrical side of things. We're going to run from the battery to the switch and then from the switch to the pump. That's the pathway that the, uh, that the current takes uh, through the system, positive and ne negative connection. So two conductors, two wires all the way through from the battery into the switch and then from the switch back out to, uh, to the pump. So to, to kind of walk through this, we're going to use our reversible pump install kit for Johnson pumps. Uh, our part number on this is 34021. And um, we also have a, an install kit for Jabsco pumps. They're very similar, um, just uh, slightly different to account for the differences between those two pumps. So um, take out some of the components here. So we include, in these kits, we include installation instructions, um, walks through the, the major steps of the installation and gives you a um, chart for the connection of the colors, uh, which, what each color on this connector does uh, two to the, to the battery and two to the pump. So that should, uh, should help answer questions that you have there, set that aside. Um, as far as the actual connections go, all of the connections in this system are gonna be made with these crimp type fittings. And so basically you strip back the wire uh, insulation to expose the conductor and then it just slides over the wire and you crimp it down using a, a crimp tool. So we're going to use our item number 37010, just a standard um, multi-electrical tool. It's got strippers and, and crimp fittings, various sizes. So for this install, we're using 12 gauge wire. We use all 12 gauge wire for a reversible pump. So you'll just match up the yellow uh, die on this to the yellow fittings and, and uh, that's what we're going to use. So first things first, let's go ahead and connect up um, the battery connection. I'll just show you that. That's kind of the most detailed uh, aspect and then everything else is going to be the same for that. So we've got our inline fuse holder that's included with the kit. This comes pre-stripped so we'll just twist the wires to make sure they're nice and clean and like I said just slides into the, the terminal and we'll grab our crimpers, set it on the yellow die like, like I said to match the yellow fitting and then we're just going to apply force, get a good crimp and then we want to do a five pound pull test on this to make sure that it's on there snug. Um, and that's basically it. So we'll just go ahead and repeat that process here. Same thing. Good crimp. Do a little pull test. So that's what it should look like when it's crimped. It's going to be kind of sandwiched flat with a couple marks there. Um, and that'll take care of the, the positive terminal. So the inline fuse connects to the positive terminal of the battery and that should be within one foot of the, of the battery connection. And that's going to prevent uh, any damage if there's a short in the, in the wire or elsewhere in the system. Um, this fuse is basically that sits in this holder is going to, to interrupt the flow of current so that you don't end up with a fire or something like that in the boat. So, so that takes care of that connection. Now we'll grab our wire here and um, we're going to use uh, standard convention black for the ground connection and, and uh, then we'll use our white, white lead for the, uh, the positive connection. So we're going to Look at this, you can see wire stripper, we're using 12 gauge, so we'll line it up with the 12 gauge connection here. And just strip back the section. We're gonna do the ground at the same time, just so they're both done, it's easy. Line it up with the 12 gauge, pull back. So now we'll take our inline fuse holder, and this is gonna go on the positive connection, which like we said is white. Same thing here, grab our crimpers, put it on the yellow crimp, squeeze down, test, make sure we get a good crimp. And then the final component is to apply our ring terminal 
to the ground side. Can be a little bit tricky to get everything in here. Apply a good crimp. All right, so that completes our connections, pretty straightforward. And then it's just a matter of dropping the ring terminals over the battery terminal and tightening it back down. So that would take care of the positive and negative connection for the system to the battery. That's how it's actually going to get power. Um, we'll go ahead and leave this fuse out just so that we don't have any current flowing through the wire for right now. And then the last step, once we finish all the connections in the system, would be to insert that fuse into the holder and then just put the weather sealing cap over the top of it. Um, so that's the, the process that's used. All of the connections in the system are made using those same crimp style fittings. So we've got four connections at the switch harness itself and uh, two for the battery, the yellow and the orange, and then two for the pump, the black and the red. And those are detailed, like I said, in the uh, installation instructions that we include. And then you would just match that up <clears throat> with the wiring um, that, we've, that we've connected to run to the switch and then from the, uh, from the switch out to the pump using the same, um, the same crimp fittings in, in the same connection system. So once that's done, the switch itself just slides right into the switch body and that's a keyed locking connection. It can only go together one way uh, and then once it's on there, it's locked together. And so that makes sure that you know that everything's connected correctly to the switch and your switch is fully functional. So that's kind of the basics. Hopefully that helps answer some questions regarding how to actually go about connecting uh, the electrical side of a ballast system when you're installing an automatic system. If you have other questions or need some help with your install, feel free to get in touch with us. Our toll-free number is 888-338-6085, or you can always send us an email to sales at wakemakers.com. <laughs>